Hey everyone, today we're going to learn about diffusion. I'm going to show you a really cool trick that you can show your friends, the Skittles. So place some Skittles on a white plate and then get some warm water and you're going to pour the warm water in the center of the plate and then watch what happens. <laughs> Look at that. Look at that pattern. Wow. <laughs> wow. <laughs> that is so cool. Wow. Wow, that is so cool. <laughs> That's awesome. Look at that pattern to form. So why did this just happen? Let's learn a little bit about diffusion and why this cool trick just happened. So these food coloring molecules are bouncing around at random among a bunch of other H2O molecules. They're bouncing around randomly, bumping into each other, but the thing is, because it's random, if you start out with a bunch of molecules on one side of the plate, and a not a lot of molecules on the other side of the plate, after a while, they're just going to spread out. Just like if you were to have a bunch of bouncy balls all on one side of the room and then remove a barrier, they'd of course spread out to the other side of the room. And that's exactly what's happening with the plate of molecules here. Another major reason why this happens is due to gravity. The sugar that dissolves is a lot more dense than water. And so the gravity pulls it towards the center of the plate, which is a little bit lower. If it were only diffusion, you would just see a mix of colors. So as diffusion continues, the colors are going to get more and more mixed as time goes on. One thing that will speed this process up is called convection. So you just saw diffusion. Diffusion was that slow process of the color diffusing towards areas that had no color. And this is convection. See how much faster that makes everything go? So convection is a very fast process. There's a great equation that describes diffusive motion like that. It's called Fick's Law of Diffusivity. And what this equation does for us is it's able to calculate the speed at which uh, molecules propagate through another molecule. So it depends on the molecule that's propagating and it depends on what it's propagating through, of course. It also depends on temperature. If you were to use co really cold water as opposed to hot water, it would move slower because in colder water, the molecules aren't bumping around very fast and there's not a lot of motion there. And so it takes longer to spread out. If you use hot water, there's a lot more motion and so the molecules spread out faster. Thanks for watching another episode of Every Kind of Scientist. Feel free to share this video if you'd like. You can try this experiment at home. Uh, you can show off to your kids if you're a parent or show off to your parents if you're a kid show off to your friends. It's a really easy and cool experiment to do. Remember to like this video and comment in the comment section. I'm always open to any science questions that you have and I'll try to answer them. And if you haven't subscribed yet, remember to subscribe and I'll see you next time.